when do you think the general population will get such the wake up call where they really see the end in sight that you're talking about, where the dystopia becomes real, where 10% of the people in the world lose their job for it never to come back and they can see it's 20% next month. And by the way, do you think that's when we might actually get some type of a, a change? I, I, think, I think reality will hit very hard in 2026. That's next year. Yeah, if not earlier. That's fast. Yeah, I mean, prob the problem is it will be diluted uh, in, in misinformation. Okay. Or so maybe in opinion. Well, you said right now the intelligence workers are being replaced, but we're all being told they're being uh, augmented with AI. And so... Yes, so you have multiple stages. Yeah. And, uh, thank you for bringing that back up. So you have uh, replacing human brains and replacing human muscles. Okay? Replacing human muscles with, uh, with, uh, with robotics hmm? uh, is funny because, uh, you know, most people don't understand that a self-driving car is a robot. It's not a humanoid, but it is a robot. Okay, and and so the the uh, the the Elon Musk, you know, fancy flamboyant way of saying we're going to make robots that are humanoid-like, mm? and all of the other humanoid makers, uh, it's because they look amazing on video. Mm? But but there are so many other robots that are being made that will completely not look like a robot, right. and and that's when you get ten billion of them, right? And and of course with economies of scale. Uh, you know, and with most of the technology already available on your mobile phone, uh, the replacement of muscles is going to start to take place probably three to five years from now. Okay. Okay. The replacement of brains is going to work in two stages. Stage one is, uh, you know, if you take coding, for example, a job that requires intelligence, ChatGPT claims that they are better than most developers in the world, other than 175, they said, okay? It doesn't matter, say they are better than 90% of the world's coders. Uh, what that means is that very few developers will work with an AI, by the way, of course, Claude is the best at all of this, right? And, and uh, you know, and, and Gemini 2.5 as, as well, but coding is actually really in the other LLMs. Uh, uh, you know, they will work with those LLMs to code and accordingly any developer that is not better than the AI within a year or two will not have a job. So not everyone will lose their job, but imagine if unemployment in the technical coding space is now 30%, right? Yeah. Doesn't have to be 100% for the economy to feel the pain. Yeah. So, so you're going to get two stages. One stage is that coupling, that symbiosis between the best humans at the job and the AI, right? You can see that in the UK, for example, with the NHS saying diagnosis happens with an AI first, and then we give you an appointment, you go and meet a human, but the human will also use an AI, right? You can see that. Hmm? But then very, f very quickly, if the diagnosis, which is, you know, typical what, of what you do in technology, if, if, the, if the human diagnosis starts to match or even become sub-accurate uh, uh, to the AI diagnosis, very quickly the organization will say, oh, from now on, diagnosis is going to be done by the AI alone. We're just going to have top supervision for you know, some of them, or you know, humans will get only the very complex cases or whatever. Right? And so you can see the replacement cycle over time. Hmm? But sooner or later, hmm, you're going to go from humans doing all the jobs using computers as a tool, humans partner to, to humans partnering, some humans partnering with the AI, uh, f where the AI actually is the intelligence and the human is just the vision and partnership, uh, to AI replacing everything uh, with very, very humans in the, very, very, very little or few humans in the, in the site. Okay. And that starts happening very soon. That happens already. Already, but we'll feel it 12 yeah, months from as, now. As, as I said, it really depends on your tolerance level. Okay. Uh, but if you, know, if you consider that... How do you get out of a rat race? How do you create wealth not only for yourself, but also for the generations to come after? I am absolutely amazed with the quality of companies that we're getting exposure to. We go on to Zoom calls with the innovators and the folks who are building new applications in metaverse, blockchain, artificial intelligence, decentralized finance. What's going on, everybody? Thumbs up if you can see me. We are focusing on 
early stage investment. And the quality of people that we're getting exposure to, whether it be Dan Tapiero with 1RT, Jason Ma from Open, Yatsu from Anamoka. It's been a phenomenal experience thus far. It has far exceeded my expectations. We are focusing on cutting edge technologies. I view it now as the best investment I've ever made. The upside I view is unlimited. And as a retail investor, I would never get this exposure anywhere else outside of Investment Club. See you in the Investment Club. 10% unemployment is high, then it's going to happen within 12 months. Okay. It is high. And yeah. We're going to start to feel that as a population. Yeah, but uh, not in every segment. Yeah. Remember, so the, it, it's not that the entire seg- you know economy will 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 get a ten percent increase in unemployment, but all of the sectors that will be handed over to AI, you're going to see ten ten percent unemployment within y- a year maximum from the time where AI takes over. Okay, now this will shock everybody into finally taking this seriously, whether they're sleeping on it right now. But it doesn't mean it will amplify you think this current uh, rivalry now between the superpowers and this aggressive capitalistic mindset Uh, yeah i think that's the problem the problem is if we if we can call things by their their names it may wake us up but of course the news media and social media and everyone will have opinions yeah and the opinions will say oh the unemployment is because the chinese are taking our jobs or the unemployment is because the economy is you know in a recession we will you know or they on and so on Right. So, so low, there could low. be there could be a very complex conversation in Congress, in you know, in the media, in 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 uh, you know, the Parliament, wherever, where there will be a bit of a struggle to say, uh, is this because of AI taking the jobs, or is it because of decisions okay. that are happening, or is it because of the war? Or, and know. meanwhile, your reality is slowly being chipped away and altered as we move forward into this world and yeah. your power and all of these other seven things that you described, the face, face, face RIP. Face RIP. Yeah. So those are all slowly deteriorating to where it makes it even harder to perceive and understand. So, so if, you, if, you know, if you know that if, you know, of course, any, any of our listeners has every right to disagree, but if you agree with any of them, uh, as I said early, hmm, I, 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 I look at it as a late stage diagnosis. Right. If a, if a, if a patient comes to a, uh, I don't know if we said this when we were filming or not. So I'll say it again if you don't mind. You know, if if a patient goes to a physician and they are diagnosed with a late stage disease, uh, the physician doesn't, you know, soften things. The, the the doctor will simply say, look, sit down. This is important. This is what we found. This is what the implications are. Unless you change your lifestyle. We're going to need you to do go through that therapy. We're going to need you to stop smoking. We're going to need you whatever, okay? Uh, and I, I look at it that way. I look at what we're going through as a late state di- stage diagnosis. In general, by the way, f- for, for all of capitalism and where it got us so far, for all of the power-hungry politics and where it got us so far, but also magnified by AI. And, and, and a late stage diagnosis is not a death sentence. You know, very, very uh, often a late stage patient will change their lifestyle, make decisions, right. and they'll become better. They'll even thrive. But it's serious enough. But it's serious enough for it, you to take action. Right, because right. it could cause so, death if you don't change your behavior. Yeah, so let's talk about action. So the action goes two layers. Hmm? There, is, there, there are actions that you need to take to become resilient within this environment. And there are actions that you, you can take to help us all all of humanity escape this environment. Okay, uh, to become resilient, unfortunately, I will say that you have to move fast. What does that mean? It means you have to be the one that is leading the AI. You have to be the one that knows the AI best. You have to be the one that uses the tools. You have to be the one. So, so you know, I, 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 my immediate reaction when we were talking uh, last time was probably I'm not going to compete on being an author anymore. I've, you know, I've written enough books in my life to be a very uh, desired speaker across the world. So I'm just going to focus on speaking because speaking has a human connection element to it. AI cannot do that. Right. Right. And then I realized, hold on, hold on. I am now suddenly 40, 40 to 50 IQ points smarter if I use Trixie. So, you know, just like I wrote with the wonderful Alice Law, Unstressable, we, she was my co-author. If I write with Trixie on this topic, I can actually write an amazing book. Right? So I'm basically telling myself the definition of the role of an author is different. 
Okay, uh, you don't have to to do that against AI. You can do it with AI. And by the way, hmm, I still bring the human in the, uh, connection part of it because I'm the one that's experiencing all of this. I'm the one that's guiding the conversation in Alive. While Trixie is much smarter than me at bringing numbers and knowledge to the conversation, mm. right? And and because we, you know, release this weekly on Substack, which is a very different publishing approach. I now get the whole world to interact with me and Trixie, right? And in that format, this book is now being written by me, the AI, and the reader, which is a very unusual approach. But I jumped on that opportunity because it is a redefinition of what an author is, but it's very fit for this world, okay. right? So this is number one. Number two is uh, 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 you, you have to understand that this is a world in turmoil, okay? And so the things that you need to do in a typical turmoil, you need to do here. You know, you need to relook at your finances. You need to relook at your skills. You need to relook at your connections. You need to relook at your spending, and so on and so forth. Right? And and it's it's quite interesting because you know if you look back at things like the Great Depression, hmm, it's quite interesting that those who changed hmm, from the 1920s and the flamboyant and you know, competitive um, financial environment of the 1920s to 1929, where people started to form, you know, connections and reliance and bartering systems and so on and so forth, right? Some people, if you look back at, you know, the history of, of the Great Depression, actually went through doing much better than others, hmm. right? Uh, they were they didn't continue to do things bef like they did them before but it's that human element it's that idea of look it's going to be tough for everyone but some of us can hold on together and make it easier for all of us hey i know investing in crypto is scary it takes a real leap of faith because there are so many scams rug pulls and bad actors out there it's a dangerous business which is why 95% of people lose all their money. Well, that's why I created the London Real Investment Club, so you can access the hottest deals on the planet and use the crypto bull market to create the generational wealth that you deserve. Join my team of over 100 people from around the world that are making millions of dollars behind the scenes investing in blockchain, AI, Web3 games, DeFi, Bitcoin, and more. Don't miss out. Click the link below to book a call with one of my team now. But hurry. This bull market will end soon. I know investing crypto can be scary. That's why you gotta join the investment club. Pull the trigger. Let's do this.